Here's a vision I received from the Lord on February 16th, 2019. I saw that I was standing on a precipice overlooking a landscape. I felt wind blowing from the south, so I knew this wind of change is for God's people here and now, specifically our elders, whom we refer to as the baby boomer generation. I realized I would be speaking on their behalf because I was older in this vision, but the landscape was of today. I saw the skyscrapers to my right were not new or futuristic. I saw the horizon in the distance pointing to God's people who acknowledge they are in the twilight years of their life here on earth. Holy Spirit is with me, telling me, lean in, listen closely, look clearly. I felt the earth start to quake and heard screams of people way off in the distance. The beastly snarling and growling of what was coming toward me could be heard for at least a mile. I saw that it would be wielding a great iron ball with spikes all over it and a chain that extended from the ball and wrapped around this beast's wrist. He never let go of his weapon. It started to come into view. I realized the quake was from its stomping. A great big giant with the stature much like a human, but the breastplate of something like a rhinoceros. He stood at least 20 feet tall. He whacked away people who were in his way. His spiked ball tossed them to the sides with little to no effort on his part. But I could see they were those who did not have the heart motivation of true love for God and others. They treat each other like a business transaction and have a facade of helping others, but it's really for selfish gain, notoriety, and human accolades. I heard the love of many will grow cold. And I knew they were the ones being whacked away. I saw their faith was merely superficial and their focus was misplaced. So their hearts grew distant and cold. They fell by the hand of the giant. I saw a bubble form around me, a bubble of God's love. And I knew he was revealing truth that the real Christians would know not to fear because perfect love casts out fear. The love of the Father is in you, and you are in him. The beast flung the spiked ball toward me, and I stood still. The weapon bounced off the bubble. He couldn't even see it. He couldn't see that I was protected. He repeated this three more times before he turned away, walked away, in search of something or someone else to destroy. Family, our Lord is saying to the older generation, You're not done. I'm not done. Stand your ground with a countenance of confidence because your strong tower is the Lord himself, your bubble of refuge, if you will. However, you feel like you've been on the sidelines watching the game, but the game's not over and you're still on the roster. You're seeing church treated like a pep rally or a rock concert, and it pains you that the simplicity of the gospel is peddled for the next bestseller book deal. You've gotten frustrated with not being used by God to the degree you desire, just like what is seasoned as it sits, you are seasoned and meant to give this coming fire the height and breadth it needs to sustain the watches of night. Let the fire start burning. Let the wind blowing on your heart lead to a blaze. And even the ash is needed to enrich the soil for the next generations. Just as Caleb said, his strength was as in his youth. God is renewing your strength and blowing on the embers that never went out. You have it in you. The army of the Lord falls in line according to the testimony of your faithfulness. Claim the territory again. Take ownership of the land I promised your forefathers and slay the giants of this time by standing in God's love from a pure heart. I am your shield. I am your protector. So let's go.